Hey guys, good morning and welcome to the weekend. It's Saturday. And, you know, we have a lot of exciting matches here. And, you know, we are hopeful of getting a win. If you are new to the channel, make sure you like, make sure you subscribe, and make sure you join our Telegram channel. It's The link to the Telegram channel is in the comment section. So I want to address something real quick, okay? So in the last couple of weeks, um, we were winning two plus odds on a very, very consistent level. There were times we went two weeks winning two plus odds and a lot of people got carried away that one or became extremely pampered to the extent that some even felt. I remember some people were even asking me, isn't your YouTube tips, um, VIP tips? You know, when I, had, I advertised my VIP tips, some, because of how I was winning here, people felt that YouTube tips were also there vip tips because other channels what they do is they give you five predictions uh, and they win two and then they celebrate like a headless chicken so but i decided to stick to just two plus odds because i felt it was counterproductive providing five to six predictions and winning two so how about you spend that energy you know and give two plus odds that actually win and it worked it worked so well. Most of you who have been here, I mean, I've received messages from people telling me how profitable they've been. So right now we are having a bad run and that's because of the period we are in. I just need to find that winning formula again. And once I find that winning formula, we'll go five or six matches. But please don't complain. I don't need you crying in the comment section. You know, if you can't edit the matches, if you can't stick with us when we are having a bad time, please go away. Okay? And, 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 and if you need ready-made tips where you can't even edit, you can't do anything to it, join our VIP tips. We've been winning the VIP tips, our monthly VIP, right? So, but I'm not saying that I'm losing here so you can join our VIP tips. No, I've never done that, okay? So even when we were, we, we've been doing our monthly VIP tips, I kept providing two plus odds that were winning every day that people thought the VIP tips were the YouTube tips. But the VIP tips are better. So if you can't stick around, if you can't, if, if, if you believe by crying in the comment section or whatever, you'll get your desires, please stop watching. I'm not begging you to be here. Okay? You can leave. For real. We'll get back. And once we get back, we'll deal with these people. Okay? So um, we have a set of four predictions that give two plus odds. And the first, oh, sorry, the first game is from uh, China. It's Shanghai, Shenhong, Shandong, Taishan. So when you look at the home teams, excellent form, as you can see. They haven't lost a single game in five matches. And I'll let you know why they haven't won, lost a game in five matches. You expand to 10 games, not a single loss. You expand to 15 games. And the last time they lost a game at home was in November. And that was when they played. Zhenjiang professionals. Zhenjiang professionals are in the top five. So you understand why. Shendong Taishan, on the other hand, um, haven't been so excellent. They've only won one game in their last five matches. And then you check their head to head, and head to head tells you everything that you need to know, right? Um, Shanghai Shenhu has been very, very successful. Um, you know, it, and having success every single time against the away team. They've only lost once, and that was in a cup game. I know cup games are a different story. So why this game will matter for the home team is because when you check their home form or the table, the home team needs to win this game. If they win this game, um, they'll, they'll then return to having to be in just two points away from the top place team. They want to win the league and they cannot afford to lose any more points, basically. That's how critical this game is for Shanghai, Shenghu. So it's for this reason that we've given Shanghai, Shenghu um, a double chance. They should be able to win this game. I mean, imagine going how many games? Over 10 matches without a loss. It's not a coincidence. We are dealing with a strong team here. So we are, we'll give them a double chance. So Shanghai to win or draw in 90 minutes at odds of 1.19. The 
The next fixture is England Switzerland. An interesting game by all standards. I see a lot of people give England <laughs> the go ahead that this is going to be an easy game, but it's not. A lot of people are underrating Switzerland, but if you've been watching this YouTube channel for a while now, you realize that I have never underrated Switzerland. I have watched them play, and they are an incredible team. They are an incredible team. So England has struggled to beat teams they are not supposed to struggle against. They nearly lost to Slovakia. Okay. This Switzerland team is extremely well organized from the defense to the attack. You know, they have everything solid and complete in every position. Right. And interestingly, even head to head shows that even when England lost to Switzerland, or even when Switzerland lost to England, they didn't really lose by a lot of, you know, like two or three goal margin. The last time they lost by a two goal margin in Euros was 2015. And that's nearly 10 years now. The Swiss team has evolved greatly from that time and until now. So the point I'm trying to make is this is not going to be an easy game for England. Switzerland is not going to sit down and allow England to score them two unreplied goals. No, it's not going to happen. So what am I going with? The prediction is simple. I am giving Switzerland a two goals handicap. I do not think England will beat them by two on reply goals. This Swiss team, I don't know if you guys watch these games, but I would encourage you to. Switzerland is on a different level, totally different level. So a two goals handicap for Switzerland is 1.21. The next fixture we have is from Finland. It's, is it Eves, Eves and HJK? So the home team has conceded in three out of the last five games they've played in. And this HJK has been in good form for the most part. Technically, in 90 minutes, they've only lost once in 90 minutes. And they also do well to score whenever they play away from home. Head-to-head -head shows that the away team has always scored. The last five times they've played this home team, Dating back to 2020, the away team has scored in every single time or every single game they've played against uh, the home team. So what this means is that you can definitely expect the away team to get a goal in this game. And the reason is I think they lost their last game. So they will definitely, or they drew, yeah, they drew their last home game. And they did score, look at 2-2. Two, two. So this is a team that scores a lot of goals. So... You can expect HJK to grab a goal today. And the reason why it's critical for HJK to get a goal and even win is because uh, three points separate them from the second place team. And if they are not careful, they might exit this first position. So they'll, they'll definitely want to get a goal today. Definitely. I don't know if they might win, but in terms of goal scoring, both teams will score. The home team is going, the away team should get a goal as well. So I'm going with the away team to score over 0 0.5 goals. That is one goal. And the odd is, and the odd for the away team to score one goal is 1.28. And finally, uh, we have an interesting game in our hands Netherlands, Turkey. Um, a lot of people have gone for Netherlands trade win or N Netherlands to qualify, but in this stage of the competitions, anything is possible. Uh, this Turkish team is highly spirited, motivated, and you saw what they did in their last game. So it's, it's going to be a crazy game. It's going to be a crazy game, to be honest. Um, Netherlands has it in them to beat them, to beat this Turkish team and progress. But again, it's a knockout stage. Um, the Austria team that Turkey knocked out wasn't a bad team, by the way. They weren't a bad team. But they were able to beat them convincingly in 90 minutes. Because anything is possible at this stage. So, but one thing you can be sure of is that Netherlands will get a goal. That's almost a given. Netherlands will get a goal 100% this round. So what am I going with? 
I'm simply going with Netherlands to score one goal. And the odd for Netherlands to score one goal, which is over 0 0.5 goals, is 1.14. And interestingly, Netherlands has scored in most of the four out of the last five times that they have played Turkey. So the odd for that is 1.14. So you have your uh, two plus odds here. You can edit uh, if you want ready made odds where you are sure of winning consistently, please join the VIP program. That's all I can say. I'm trying my best. I'm doing everything I can. But there are certain things I cannot influence. But if you need consistent and regular winnings, you should join our VIP program. Thank you.